Let's go live now to Alan Fisher, who's live for us in St. Louis. Now, Alan, as we just mentioned, this, this women's issue started off with a big bang for Donald Trump. Um, and, and the moderator also said that this was the most discussed issue on Facebook in the past 24 hours. How was it received? This is actually the most discussed election topic in 2016 and you can consider all the controversies that we've had. Now, we spent essentially the first third of the debate talking about that. Donald Trump, as you heard in that clip, was asked essentially what you're saying is you're sexually assaulting women. Do you understand that? And he said, I never said that. You don't understand what was said. And then repeated the line, locker room banter three times. That is clearly the line that he decided that he was going with. And then he pivoted to other issues. And he did that several times when the issue was raised. Essentially, his view was that he would rule it out as locker room banter and then steamroller every other reference. And it seemed to work. He seemed to be able to get beyond that. But of course, what we know is that this issue has split the Republican Party in a way we haven't seen a party be split before a US election. So it is very difficult for him to get beyond that. Certainly, Hillary Clinton had a few bad moments when it came to talking about her email servers. But I suspect that many people tuned in. And remember, we we're expecting an audience in excess of the first debate, which was 84 million people, just to hear what Donald Trump had to say when it it came to the issue of that tape. Now, Hillary Clinton didn't hammer him specifically on the point. She said she would go high when others went low. But it'll be interesting to see how the polls reflect how Donald Trump reacted to that. What was interesting is that immediately after the debate, the surrogates flooded the spin room. Here, you can see behind me. Now, I managed to grab a hold of Rudy Giuliani, who has been his main surrogate throughout Sunday. He's been the only one on the US political talk shows talking on behalf of the Trump campaign. And I asked him if he thought that Donald Trump had now put this behind him. Listen to what I asked him. Listen to what he had to say. Does this expand his support beyond the base? I would say it expands his base enormously. It goes way beyond Republicans. I think Democrats are going to look at that and say, on one side, we saw, we saw a president, a, a strong president. On the other side, we saw, we saw a, uh, a person who's been a failure, a secretary of state, who can't keep her promises. Who, that whole story about Abraham Lincoln, give me a break, Hillary. I was a prosecutor. What you said to Goldman Sachs, I read it, I read the transcript. You said, sometimes you have to say something different in public than you do in private. You know what saying something different in public than in private is called? It's called lying. Now, if you didn't see the whole debate, a lot of what Rudy Giuliani there was saying might be a bit lost in the weeds. But what is essentially the point is that he believes that they've managed to put the tape controversy behind them. But the difficulty is that Donald Trump himself said on Saturday to some of his closest advisers that they have other things. There are other tapes out there. He said other statements and he believes they will drip 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 over the next few weeks of the election campaign speaking to hillary clinton's surrogates who are out here in the spin room they believe that what they showed is that donald trump is unfit to be president of the united states and of course the tapes play a big part of that they said that hillary clinton was prepared you saw her grasp of important and complex issues whereas donald trump simply resorted to his talking points now both these candidates are heading off to important swing states it's interesting that donald Donald Trump took the time to mention them specifically, Pennsylvania and Ohio. In fact, he's going to be in Pennsylvania on Monday. But what everyone is waiting for are the first polls after that controversial tape. Once we see that, we will see the size of the problem that Donald Trump has with the electorate and whether or not he can still win this election. Certainly his performance, people will say, well, who won the debate? Hillary Clinton did OK. Donald Trump had perhaps his better performance against Hillary Clinton. And he would certainly galvanize his base with his attacks on her and the issues that he tackled and also his attacks on the moderator. But also, you've got to realize that if Donald Trump wants to win the White House, he's got to go beyond his base. He's got to expand that. And at the moment, it doesn't appear he's doing that. Those polls about the tape, they're going to be crucial and everyone is going to be watching them. Even Donald Trump, who insists that sometimes he doesn't pay any attention to the polls, don't believe him. Everyone is waiting for these. Okay, Alan Fisher, live for us there in St. Louis. Thanks very much.